Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Crypto Chris, and I'm back with another video, third day in a row, guys. So hope you're enjoying the content, guys. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please give a like. I'm trying to grow my channel as much as possible, and every little bit you guys do for me really goes a long way. Anyway, I'm going to here to do a quick cryptocurrency breakdown. I think I'm going to do XRP instead of Ethereum today because XRP saw a little bit of price action. People got a bit excited, and I just want to show you what's actually going on. So, first of all, I'm going to jump into Bitcoin. And a quick follow up from the uh, two moving average. We've got the 200 day moving average here in the yellow one, and we've got the 50 day simple moving average in the blue. The crossover, possibly, if we stay above this trend line here and we don't drop any lower, there will be a bullish um, moving average crossover. A lot of the algo trading bots will see this as a positive and as a bullish signal and it will, should signal a lot of buying action. So if we once again, if we stay above this trend line, maybe we'll have the bullish crossover and we can see what happens here. But in my opinion, if we do stay above here, we have this bullish crossover to the upside, then in my opinion, it should propel us finally to that six hours I know I've been saying it for about two weeks now but the way that price has been holding up for these um, past few days it's been staying with it within its regions and it's not just been a massive fake out so still a way in for this daily candle to close and if we zoom in a bit more you can see what's happened so yesterday we had this bullish engulfing candle so uh engulfing bullish engulfing candle means that the next day's candle is a lot significant larger than the previous candle we've let me zoom in a bit more you can see what's actually going on here so the other candle because we closed above these two wicks here this pushed the candle to five two six six and then we've quickly started retracing down but please note that we found support above previous resistance so previous resistance has become new support so if we close in this region so i would like if we close above this zone here maybe by thursday friday we could see that that push to the upside if we break below this zone, just as a zone to be aware of, would be another tap of this region. And something I forgot to mention yesterday in yesterday's video was the potential downside movements. If you've not already seen one thing that's quite common in the um, crypto Bitcoin charts, you see a lot of these wicks. As um, the cryptocurrency market, as you guys know, is unregulated it's basically the wild west of the financial world if you like and you see a lot of these wicks where the people with the biggest money can basically control and they've already got the buy orders set way up and they already know where their sell orders are as well so also with the lack of liquidity in the market as well it makes it a lot more easier for this to happen so you always need to think one step ahead of the normal retail trader the normal retail trader you cannot trade this like it's the forex market you need to it's a different type of animal uh, in my opinion to trade i've been stopped out many occasions um but i've learned as I've been trading crypto more and more. I've gained more experience and I've learned to kind of expect these movements. So a lot of people would put a stop loss here, bang on the trend line. But being the crypto market, I would always put a stop loss slightly lower because usually what, what happens is you have the whip will pierce for a trend line. People think this is it. We're going to melt down back to 
an absolute red massive candlestick we'll, we'll load back to um previous lows for for only price to just quickly touch a certain point and just retrace all the way back up here i mean perfect example would be this wick we had on the 3rd of april price quickly climbed above this resistance people thought right that's it we're bullish we're going to go to 6000 straight away for only the candle quickly to retrace drop 10 percent go under and then close it then close above the previous candle so just a quick side note to let you guys know just be always aware of these major major wicks that happen in a crypto market right next up we've got xrp um a lot of you guys that i know do trade xrp are long-term hold of as xrp and to be honest i've got quite a bit of xrp as well and i know how frustrating it's been to hold xrp for the past year and if i just zoom out into the weekly one thing that you've noticed since we pretty much capitulated in December time we've stayed within this region we've not been able to break above 38 cents I mean I can't remember the last time I saw a 40 cent XRP when was it let's have a look it was 7th of January the last time we touched uh, 40 cents and basically for the past four months or so we've been trading under 30 cents while other coins have absolutely been ripping up like two three hundred percent and to be honest i've got a book uh, with the basics of technical analysis and what this shows is when a certain asset is being suppressed within a certain region i mean it's been um artific it's been man-made suppression if you like so what would happen is the big financial students would want to accumulate as much of the coin as they want and they will have a lot of um sell orders in uh, certain regions i mean as you can see this region here let me just highlight it for you so whoops let's make it a bit more smaller so this region here for we had it was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nearly three months of data so every time we attempted in the past three months to break above this zone a there was a lot of sell orders put in this zone and to be honest when something's been suppressed heavily as xrp has been for the past few months it, it can it, it, to me in my opinion i believe this shows there's a lot of um suppression in the price there's there is a lot of and a lot of accumulation more than any other coin in my opinion and believe me when accumulation has finished then we have liftoff guys and it wouldn't surprise me there would just be a massive green candlestick like we had back in september i don't know if you guys remember but this was pretty much glorious we basically bottomed out at 24 cents and literally in a matter of weeks we spiked up well over 200 percent to roughly about 80 cents so it wouldn't surprise me if we have a ton of suppression in this zone here and then out of nowhere we'll have this m massive uh, green stick about 100 to 200 percent wick and usually when this happens it's followed by um, an ex new news like an ex-rapid partner or a ripple partner that's gonna so it usually you see the price do something crazy then the news would follow but anyway uh, enough uh, rambling on here so i will jump into the four hour and i can kind of show you what's what's happening here 
So I've got this Fibonacci um, retracement here. Basically, a, a Fibonacci retracement will show you from a swing high to uh, a sw sorry, a swing low to a swing low to swing high, and where we're using um, the average of uh, Fibonacci where price could retrace to our price where it could eventually go to so we had this Fibonacci of 0 0.618 which usually is the golden ratio in Fibonacci and we broke below this zone as soon as, as you can see as soon as we broke and closed below this zone price absolutely melted so we have this resistance here with all these wicks which coincides with the Fibonacci retracement and something that I've noticed as well going back to um, price suppression in uh, XRP token so if I zoom out into the weekly you can see what I can might be unfolding here in my opinion I mean all that I say guys is always my opinion it can not play out as I say but I'll try my best to kind of use as much data and as much knowledge as I can to kind of predict if you like of where the price could be going so the Fibonacci retracement the negative uh, 618 ratio it pretty much coincides precisely with this wick that we had back in August that plummeted us back down to 24 and a half cents i mean price quickly touched this zone there was a lot of buy orders so it, and then we quickly retraced back up to the previous close so wouldn't surprise me price ping pongs within this zone here we break a, below this support that we've got here and we briefly touch these two zones here i mean i'm looking at these two zones where a lot of lot of buy orders would be and i think that would be the last push where we could have a similar movement to what we had um back in september so we touch this zone pretty much touch this zone again and then we absolutely rocketed to the upside so in my opinion we could have something unfolding here touch this zone here before an absolute rocket to the upside and finally break above that 40 cents region so does it have to play out that like that probably not guys it, it, it might not we could just literally go from this zone here and just absolutely rock it up but to be honest i don't think it will make it make sense so if you was a financial institution or someone with a lot of money you'd rather have that last buy-in in the 24 and a half cents region rather than the 30 old cents region i mean these financial institutions and the big boys they they're all about percentages and gains and they have the most money they have the most xrp so it'd be no surprise if priced briefly we have another similar situation to this where we we have a lot of sell orders come in touch this zone here before counterpointing us up so that's what I can see happening with XRP at the moment. And just to show you guys, let me quickly go on the daily and I'll show you where resistance and support is. If you're familiar with the Ishimoku cloud, these, let me just move these moving averages so, it, so you be able to make more sense. Right, here we go. So the Ishimoku cloud, it basically will show you where support and resistance is. If you're above the cloud here, this will be your support. If you're within a cloud, this is, it means the price is just consolidating and per technical analysis, if your price is within a cloud, it is best to stay out because price can just whipsaw in between this cloud until we've got a clear direction of where price could go. So, I mean, if we break under this cloud, then no surprise, price, We, to be honest, I, this is the zone. I, I have my buy orders set in this zone just in case we tap this zone. But if we break above the cloud, then we may break the 40 cents region and then start climbing back from here. So... It's a region that I'm 
literally keeping my eye on but this is what I can see happening in XRP so the next bonus coin I'm going to go to is the ZRX coin usually if you're into XRP a lot of people also buy the ZRX coin and I just want to show you I've just done a quick analysis before and I just want to show you what I can see happening with the with this coin this is a daily time frame so we had we've got this nice up sloping uh, support here leading us uh, to the upside again making higher lows bullish we made a high high I mean we made this was our previous high high and then we've got this resistance trend line down here where we've been rejected off roughly about four times so if we break above this zone we've also got the 200 day moving average pretty much bang on previous resistance so i'm looking for possibly another touch of the trend line before absolutely rocket us to the upside for another retest of this zone my next target if we break above this zone is about 48 cents and also one thing I want to show you guys, if I just jump out onto the the weekly, well actually let me go on the daily. Just something I've noticed before. So if I just draw this trend line here from wick to wick. Let me just tidy up a bit. So pretty much bang on so um my further down zone that i've got is the 60 cents and if we touch 60 cents then that will just pretty much mean that this trend line that we've got here let me just make sure so if we, if we go to there it should coincide with a potential touch of this trend line probably a slight pierce through of this trend line so my target could be once again um all all coins follow bitcoin so if we do see that six thousand dollar bitcoin then this should coincide with the altcoins um having a bit of a run as well so we'll break through this red zone here First target will be 48 cents. Next target would be the 60 cents and which would coincide with a, a touch of this of this trend line here. So if you're holding ZRX, we've also got this nice rounded bottom here. I mean, I mean, it looks like pretty much this coin is pretty much bottomed out and we're starting to climb higher by making the higher lows and the higher high. So just to show you what I'm looking at here if we break above this trend line boom break above this uh, resistance here boom to round about to this zone here and that will be my that's my medium term goal I've got for ZRX between 59 and 60 cents I mean I can see it's, it's looking like it's begging for it to touch this zone here anyway guys so hope you enjoyed this video once again it's a bit of a longer 20 minute video um hope you're enjoying the videos i've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys so far and i hope you find that each video and the quality has been improving i mean i've got a new microphone now i've actually got a mouse instead of using my fingers so hope you're enjoying the content and i'm gonna have more educational stuff as well and more technical analysis what what you look for in technical analysis what is a bullish sign what is a bullish signal what is a bearish signal um trend lines i'm going to show you i'm going to show you wicks i'm going to show you more about fibonacci retracement I'm, and i'm all going to do this just to give you guys more value and all i all i, all I want is just feedback likes that's all i'll require from you guys anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you on the next one peace out